So I came to Good Morning Britain today to talk about work, you know, the voice, I came to promote my line, and then I got asked about Kanye, and I don't, I don't want to talk about Kanye, I'm, I'm out here working, and when you're working and then you get derailed on something that you really don't want to talk about. That's messed up that it's affecting people and it's affecting people's work. And, you know, I really didn't want to go in and talk about that kind of stuff, but it hit my heart. My grandma's mom was a slave, as was yours, homeboy. My grandma's grandma was a slave, as was yours, homeboy. And it wasn't their choice, bro. That wasn't their choice, dude. Like when you're owned and whipped and shackled and your family split up, and they're taking your kids away from you, that's not a choice. And neither is the conditions that people live in Detroit right now, that's not a choice. Mississippi is not a choice. Fifth Ward's not a choice. The Bronx is not a choice. That's called conditioning, bro. Investing on education. And right along that, when they give a kid $5,000 a month, there's a liquor store, a check cashing, a motel. That's not a choice. And those kids that are subject to, you know, a low investment on their education are going to end up in and out of juvenile hall in prison. Is that a choice or is that a setup? Like, but I'm out here working and you affected my work. That's messed up. I, hey, I was cool just being silent, not talking about it. But when you affected my work, that's wrong, bro. We need to be united. We need to be connected. And I don't ever talk out. I don't never be like, This is not me. It is me. Usually I control my emotions, but right now it's hard, bro. You really affected my my emotions, bro, because my grandma's grandma. Like, I know my grandma. I love my grandma. I miss her. Rest in peace. My grandma had the same feeling about her grandma. And her choice, she that wasn't her choice. She was forced to be a slave. And living in the projects, that wasn't a choice, bro. That was reality. And there were people that were integral in our ability to get out the projects. Those are the after-school program folks. Those are the folks that provide, you know, free lunches to people in the projects. Those are the people that fought for magnet programs to bus people to go to Calabasas or go to you know, Malibu and Palisades to go to school to get their education because people that go to those schools get $10,000 per year, not two and five. And because of that, I went back to my ghetto teaching kids robotics, computer science, engineering, mathematics, college preparation, not so they could graduate with a diploma so they could create jobs and fill jobs, solve tomorrow's problems. Like there's so much more that we need to be talking about and building and no hoopla. What the fuck is all this hoopla? If you about it, be about it and connect. I understand like, yeah, we need to love everybody. Yeah, we do. But I'm, you don't love somebody to stir up some racist shit to sell some shit. Fuck that.